Walmart National Walkout Day, a national day of action against Walmart's unjust practices, low wages, cut hours, and no benefits. Paramount City, California, 23rd of November, 2012. In more than 100 cities nationwide, hundreds of employees took part in walkouts and strikes against Walmart corporate malpractices on Black Friday, the busiest shopping day of the year in the United States. People also responded to a call by many organizations, including but not limited to United Food and Commercial Workers International Union, our Walmart, and Making Change at Walmart, to boycott shopping at Walmart. This action has become a turning point in the struggle against the giant retailer. The reason we are here is because of the unfair labor practice that we face for speaking up. And I just want to make it perfectly clear, that's why we're out on strike. Is because when we stand up, we get a target put on our back. They find different ways of just harassing us, intimidating us, firing us. Okay, some of us have been trying to get Walmart to address our concerns. We have spoken to our managers, written letters to members of the board, even gone to Bentonville to speak with executives, but our calls have gone unanswered. We are truly overwhelmed by the outpouring of support. We never expected that it would have so many people joining us in this call for change at Walmart. And even before we have gotten to Black Friday, our voices are being heard. And that is success because it is the first step in making change. My name is Carlton Smith. I'm a 16-year associate at this store here, which is Paramount, California, store number 2110. I'm a department manager for housewares. Why are you protesting today? I am protesting here, and I'm standing up for associates who are, don't have the courage to stand up for themselves. What are your demands? What are you, why are you protesting for, for them? For them? is because I'm speaking up and out to Walmart for reasons that Walmart retaliate against associates for having a voice. They don't want you to have a voice. What do they want to have? They don't want you to have, they don't want you to speak up. About? The issues and concerns like affordable health care. They don't want to hear you talk about that. Staffing, which is a major issue here in the store. Um, uh, fair wages, okay? Um, like I said, affordable health care is another main issue. So you talked about staffing. What do you, what do you mean? Staffing, that's this store here, is understaffed. This is, uh, they make probably $70 million a year on a skeleton crew. The shelves can't get filled because there's not enough associates in there. How many people do work in there now? Approximately all shifts, maybe close to 300. And how many should you do? Probably five. And so everybody's working double Yes, yeah, well a lot of things, a lot of reasons that the store is understaffed is because hours are being cut. If you would give the majority of the people whose hours you cut the hours, then you could, um, you would see the production in the store. Why, why do they cut the hours? For profits, their bottom line. That's where their, you know, their emphasis is. So people work less hours? Yes. And they try to get more work out of less people with less hours. So instead of 40, how many hours did they work? Anywhere from 10 to 32. During the holiday season? Yes, there are people that with short hours. They even brought in associates from other stores because they didn't have the, the proper staffing to accommodate the, the big load of customers that came in on yesterday. And you mentioned about wages, right? Yes. And what about that? 
Wages Walmart goes into communities promising city officials that they pay an average of $13 an hour, which is not true. There are associates here today that have been with the company over 10 years and don't make $13 an hour. What's it, how much do they make? Anywhere from $8 to $10 an hour. Is that sufficient? Mm, of course no. not. Absolutely not. Most of these people are working here are single people or parents or... Family? Most of them are parents. And explain that, like how does the math work? Okay, well Walmart, because of the, the low wages and the hours that are being given out, are forcing the associates to rely on public assistance to make ends meet and to get you know, health care that they, they need. But no provided, so there's there's health care provided, but it's unaffordable to the associates because of the amount of money that they bring home. So the government has to subsidize? They're forcing the associates to do that, to get uh, county and public assistance. Any last word you want to say? Walmart stopped retaliating against associates who speak up for what they deserve, which is justice, respect. and I've been working for Walmart for seven years and we're here because we wanted to get some respect from management and we wanted to get some more hours and to don't be caught in hours because we have family that we have to support and gas is too expensive plus everything is expensive so we need those hours back. And How many hours were you working? We work, uh, sometimes they keep us at 40 hours but two weeks later they cut the hours back so they like 30, 30 hours that we work. And your pay is, how much do they pay you for your work? $12. Uh, and that's not enough for your... It's not. It's not because when we are ready, um, when we ready our payments getting okay, they cut the hours back. So we go into the same thing that sometimes we don't have like extra money to support our family. And then you said you've been working for seven years. I've been working for, yes. And how they, they are treating you? Um, the store manager is great. He's really good. Some of the managers is the one that they have to change, plus co-managers. And all your demands are what? More pay and more your hours? Excuse me? What are your demands for protest? For the respect and the hours. Shame on Walmart! Shame on Walmart! Shame on Walmart! Look, their lie is so good, they came and told, I think I told you this already, they, they came and told African American leaders in the community that they pay their associates $13 an hour. We got people here that have been working for 20 years that don't make $13 an hour. We have department managers that don't make $10 an hour. Walmart is lying. Shame on Walmart. Shame on Walmart. My name is Evelyn Cruz. I am an eight-year associate at the Pico Rivera store. I've been a department manager for the photo department and wireless. So you worked there eight years. Why are you here today? What's going on here today? To tell Walmart that it's enough retaliation against the associates who speak out on the working conditions in the stores. What kind of working condition are you facing? Lack of hours, lack of staffing, lack of a living wage, lack of affordable health care. Um, could you explain that, uh, elaborate like lack of hours, lack of uh, staffing and all that? I have a worker that only works seven to eight, well actually eight to 16 hours per week. That's what I mean, lack of hours, lack of staffing. I went from having seven associates in one area to having three. We are every year, um, if we want health care, this year it went up 36%. People are unable to pay their bills and see a doctor 
And with the stress that we're under in those stores, you can't expect healthy people working in there. You mentioned that hours being cut off. Does that mean your customers are not showing up? You're losing customers? Or? Oh no, Walmart's making money. They just don't want to staff the stores correctly. But if they staff those stores, they would also make a lot more money. In the stores, you have people with, they walk away from uh, carts full of merchandise because they cannot find the merchandise that they're looking for in some areas and it's frustrating to them. They cannot find anyone to help them with customer service and it's frustrating for them. So uh, your demands are more hours and more pay? What, what kind of pay are you A getting? living wage. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. And what Be is the living wage to you? $25,000 a year. Most associates are not even making half. How do they make it? How do they live? They live off the public assistance. Every taxpayer subsidizes Walmart's associates. Every taxpayer. If you go in those stores and purchase cheap merchandise, you're paying for it in the long run because it's coming out of your taxes. Any last comment you would like? Yeah, I would like for Walmart to stop lying that we are out here and that we actually don't work for them. I've worked for them for eight and a half years and I'm standing out here so they can stop retaliating against associates like myself that speak out. My name is uh, David Padilla and I worked at Walmart at 2110 uh, Paramount, California for 17 years. And I had an injury, I hurt myself at work 2009 and I had to have surgery, therapy, and when I went back to work they refused to offer me a job as a door greeter. They offered me a job as a maintenance cashier, but with my injury, I couldn't do that type of work, so they, I had to quit. I had to leave the company. What kind of injury did you have? I fell off the ladder stocking, and I found out that I had to um, have three uh, discs replacing my neck, and I had to have surgery. I was having problems uh, stalking, uh, lifting uh, merchandise and stocking merchandise with my arm and hand. So you said you worked there for 17 years? 17 years. Thank you for your 17 years and they just let you go because you were injured? Yeah, I was injured and uh, at the time the only uh, job they offered me was maintenance and um, cashier. But at the situation that I was in, I couldn't do that type of work. I was still going for therapy for my hand and arm and my neck so, they so, so I had no choice but to leave and, and what happens to you all the years that you were well I I just received uh, the little bit of uh, pension I had in the system and that was it so I you know that was it 
It's okay. And then why are you protesting today? What, what are your demands? I just want to make sure that what happened to me doesn't happen to somebody else. That's why I'm here. You know, that's why I want everybody to make sure they get the treatment they deserve. What do you think, what kind of treatment you should have gotten? Well, they should have, um, when I had that accident, they, that morning they took me to the emergency and they looked at me, they checked me at, the, at Downey Community and they sent me back that same morning in a taxi back to work and I went from there to the doctor's office, medical office, and they checked me and the doctor at that time told me that I could go back to work and I had seven stitches on my head because I had cut my head open and they put seven stitches. No staples. days off, no, no hours off, nothing. No, they gave me, they gave me, they told me the doctor from the clinic told me I could go back to work that same night, that Friday night. But being that I had the weekends off, Saturday and Sunday, I came back to the clinic and they checked me and from there I went to my own doctor and I had some time off from him. Any last comment you want to make? Any word of advice you want to give people? I just um, want people to know when anything like this happens to anybody, of course you have to report it and they have to take a report on it. But just uh, make sure you stay with it. You know, stick with it. Don't let them, you know, tell you you can't do this, you can't do that. Because they had, they had told me that if I wanted uh, medical treatment, that I would have to go see my own doctor. Attention, I am Lieutenant George Zagurski of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly for Penal Code Section 407 in the name of the people of the state of California. I command all those who are seated in the intersection and street at Lakewood Boulevard and Century Boulevard to immediately disperse, which means to break up and leave this assembly, leave the area. If you do not do so, you will be arrested or subject to other police actions, including kettle blankets or only less lethal weapons that may result in serious injury. If you do not disperse, you will be arrested for Penal Code Sections 409, refusing to disperse, and 416, remaining present in an unlawful assembly. If arrested, do not resist arrest. Hola, yo soy Ulda. Trabajo para la Walmart de la Quinta por seis años y medio. Hi, I am Ulda, and I, I work. I'm working for Walmart in La Quinta, the Walmart 1805 for six years and a half so far. How far is La Quinta from here? You in Paramount right now? ¿Qué, ta, ¿Qué tan lejos es La Quinta de aquí? Estás ahorita en Paramount. Like two hours and a half, like about two hours. Two hours drive. Yes. Why two are hours you driving. here? ¿Por qué estás aquí? Porque estoy peleando por mis derechos. Because I'm fighting for my rights. Because I'm fighting for my rights. What kind of rights do you want? ¿Qué tipo de derechos quieres? Respeto. Respect. Uh, and what kind? What are you asking for? What are your demands? Why are ¿Qué, you ¿Cuáles protesting? son tus demandas? ¿Qué es lo que quieres pedir? Yo pido respeto. I ask for respect for me and for my co-workers. Por mí, por mis compañeros. Y también pido que... ¿Qué más pido? Pues todo lo que... Necesit necesitamos full time, necesitamos, también queremos que nos den seguro de, de seguro de salud. We, well, we, what, what can I, what can I say? What can I say? We, we need too many requests. There is so many, so many things that we need to ask, but I would start with, we need to be really full timers. We, we are not, I mean, I'm a full timer, but I'm not getting my 40 hours, not even close. And no, and we also deserve medical uh, a good medical insurance and we don't have that right now we just have one that is really expensive my co-worker cannot afford it so what happens when you get sick if you have to go see a doctor ¿Qué pasa si, si te enfermas y si tienes que ir al doctor tengo que ir al doctor a Mexicali porque aquí no tengo dinero para pagar I need to go to Mexicali because I don't have the money enough to pay a, a copayment or a, a doctor over here in the United States. Mm, yo estoy trabajando, pero trabajo nada más cuatro horas y media. I mean, Walmart doesn't pay me enough, and uh, they, I'm only working four hours and a half per day. Four and a half hours per four day. Four and a half per day. 
pero es que yo quiero, yo quiero ese tiempo, uh -huh. porque yo pido mis dos días de descanso y ellos me dicen que si yo trabajo ocho horas, no me van a dar mis días de descanso que yo quiero. Because the company says that if she wants, if she blocks two days uh, on the week, she, uh, Walmart told them, if you block those two days, so I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to give you 40 hours. Mm -hmm. So that's why he, she's working less. So what are you supposed to do to make a living? How much do you get paid enough for the hours that you work? ¿Cómo haces para poder uh, pagar los biles entonces ahora? ¿Cómo estás pasando? ¿Cómo estás pasando en tu, con tu familia? Mi esposo, my husband. Any last comment? En cualquier otro comentario que quieras decir. Respeto, es lo que yo pido. I ask him for respect. I'm fighting for respect. That's all I want, respect. Queremos tener una lucha con victoria, con victoria. Y vamos a tener la lucha. You have been watching a National Day of Action against Walmart. Low wages, cut hours, and no benefits. This has been a production of Global Voices for Justice. Interview, camera, and editing by Mansur Saba. Paramount City, California, 23rd of November, 2012. Here are some statistics. Walmart heir Robson Walton, whose net worth is $26 billion, took in more than $420 million in dividends last year, while an average employee makes $8.81 an hour or $15,500 a year. The Walton family has more wealth than the bottom 42% of American families combined. In 2010, Walmart CEO Michael Duke's annual salary of $35 million gives him more in an hour than a full-time employee makes in an entire year. A third of Walmart's employees work less than 28 hours per week and have no benefits. 25% of all Walmart warehouse workers depend on government assistance to provide for their families. And 37% work more than one job, according to Warehouse Workers for Justice. Global Voices for Justice is a nonprofit media organization based in Long Beach, California. We are driven by a passion for social justice and peace as we pursue our mission to make the voices of today's independent thinkers widely accessible. It is only through your financial support that we can continue making these programs possible. To make a donation, please visit our website at www.globalvoicesforjustice.org or contact us, email info at gvfj.org or phone 310-283-0885. That's 310-283-0885. Thanks for watching.